Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's PG13 Hockey Man, and we're back with another tier list, this time for the NHL away jerseys. Uh, I'm doing this a little bit differently. I just put things back in the same order that they were the home jerseys, and I'm going to just move the jersey, these away jerseys around. Uh, because most of a lot of them are exactly the same as the home except reversed. So this is what um this is the start of it. So I'm just going to really talk about the teams that I am going to change the rankings for. Uh first change I'm going to make is Buffalo going from an A to a B. Uh, the main thing that's throwing me off is the bottom part of the jersey with it being uh, two yellow stripes and one blue stripe. It's not matching the sleeves, which is two blue stripes, one yellow stripe. I'm going to keep Calgary up there, keeping obviously Arizona and uh, Anaheim the same where they are. I really love Arizona's uh away jersey soon i'll do the alternates and it'll be the inverse of this uh i'm gonna keep carolina the same uh if the uh, if they kept the jersey that they initially went with when adidas came out it would have been like a d but this is definitely an upgrade um i'm gonna keep Chicago there because uh, less is more and Chicago really knows how to do their uniforms. Keeping Colorado the same, keeping Columbus the same. I'm actually going to move Dallas one down. I like their home jersey more. It's not exactly the same. I think if the green and the black striping, if they were inverted, I think that would make it better. All right, I think the biggest change, uh, Detroit going from a D, they're going up to a B. Uh, it's the same, it's essentially the same as the home jersey, except the main part, uh, which is currently white, it's red. But on the away jersey since they kept the red on the sleeves and the stripes how they are uh, it's amazing and it is one of the most iconic if not the most iconic white jersey in the nhl all right edmonton uh, i'm gonna keep it there actually no i'm gonna move it up to a i was a really big fan of these uh, of the Edmonton uh, Navy and white stuff. Uh, I've seen them wear it in person, and it works so much better than their home jersey does with their pants and whatever. Uh, I'm going to keep Florida the same. I'm going to keep LA the same. Minnesota, uh, this current away jersey has gotten really old on me uh i'm gonna move it down to b it's not a high b it's kind of a middle low b montreal okay i'm not the biggest i'm not the biggest fan of uh the current montreal away jerseys uh i want them to do the inverse of their home jersey because that would be really sick but I understand that this is the Montreal Canadiens we're talking about, and these jerseys never change because they're an original six. But I've gotten really tired of seeing uh, this kind of bland Montreal jersey, even though I said less is more. I think this is a little bit too less. So I'm throwing it down in C. All right, uh, Nashville, you deserve an F. You absolutely failed to do this. All right. New Jersey, you keep them B. New York Islanders, I'm keeping B. New York Rangers, I'm keeping an A. 
the New York Rangers away jersey is one of my favorite away jerseys. Uh, I'm going to keep Ottawa a B. I'm going to keep Philly a B or a C, sorry. Keep Pittsburgh a B. San Jose is staying. St. Louis is staying. Tampa, Toronto, Vancouver is staying. All these teams are essentially where I want them to be. Um, Vegas and Seattle, I absolutely love their away jerseys. They look very similar, but I think it's for the best because they're both new expansion teams and they look really cool. I'm really digging the white Seattle jersey. I think I might like it better than the Navy, which kind of crazy, maybe possibly, but honestly, I, I'm a, if Seattle doesn't pull a Vegas and just go to the Stanley Cup final their first year, if they miss the playoffs or they get eliminated early, I think I'll be a, a fan of the team, but I don't want another Vegas scenario. So this was really quick, uh, but I got a lot of stuff in the works. I'm working on the requested horns, and there's right now six lined up, and I'm going to be posting them today. So look forward to that. And uh, I'm also planning on uh, making a collection of every single NHL goal song minus player goal songs, just the standard goal songs. Uh, just make playlists for that. I've been working on Anaheim lately, but I already have Minnesota, Montreal, Nashville, uh, Tampa, and Winnipeg. They're all done. So it's just something to look forward to in the future. The summer, and I'm... I guess one thing too, I'm not the biggest fan of doing a lot of custom horns. I would love to do more vintage horns because you guys are going crazy on the custom horns and it's kind of, it's getting a little bit too much for me with the custom horns. Next year, I'm only going to do vintage horns. So this will be the last year for custom. So I'm saying that right now. All right. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.